with me today is Dr. Mrinal Kanti Das, sir, a senior interventional cardiologist at BM Birla Heart Institute, Kolkata, CMRI, as well as Kothari Medical Center. Sir is also honorary general secretary of Cardiological Society of India. Sir, welcome to the CSI TV at Kochi, sir. Thank you. So you gave a very relevant talk today about comorbid disease presentation of atrial fibrillation and heart failure. So how does it alter the patient prognosis if these two diseases come together in the patient, sir? Yeah, uh, everyone is aware of uh, diseases like uh, atrial fibrillation and heart failure alone. Yes, sir. But uh, when each disease is affecting our morbidity, its incidence is maybe less when they are alone. But if they are together or having a tango effect, uh, we call it, then automatically the morbidity and mortality becomes much more enhanced. And very interestingly, one influences the other. Okay. Atrial fibrillation will produce the heart failure. Heart failure in turn will produce the atrial fibrillation. And this vicious cycle of atrial fibrillation, heart failure, atrial fibrillation, heart failure, it goes on. And thereby, the perpetuation of the process of morbidity also continues. In that background, if someone like atrial fibrillation is influencing and causing the heart failure and vice versa, automatically the mortality gets much more pronounced. True. So, sir, how do we manage these patients with both the disease together? Yeah, that's very important. Uh, we know that there are guidelines for management of the atrial fibrillation. We also know the management of heart failure as per the guidelines proposed by European Society of Cardiology or American uh, College of Cardiology and American Heart Association. Now, there is no specific guideline when the duo is there, that is the combination of atrial fibrillation and heart failure together. So what is proposed that you'll have to control both the, both the diseases together. Okay. Say for example, atrial fibrillation, you'll have to take care of the heart rate, you'll have to take care of the rhythm, you'll have to take care of the various uh, complications like, uh, uh, like uh, uh, the thromboembolic phenomenon, and thereby, actually, you are reducing the not only uh, heart failure incidence, but also you are improving the quality of life. On the other hand, the heart failure, which again may give the uh, resultant effect of atrial fibrillation because of the various pathophysiological mechanism, if you take care of the heart rate, then definitely uh, by taking care of the heart rate as well as the atrial fibrillation, you are controlling the heart failure and thereby controlling the heart failure, you are reducing the incidence of atrial fibrillation. And here is the, uh, you can say the junctional effect of three main facets in the therapeutic uh, aspect of uh, the combination. That is the number one, lenoxine. Number two is the diuretics, and number three is the uh, anticoagulants, oral anticoagulants. And definitely these three, if they are combined together, possibly will take care of most of the uh, morbidities and will reduce the mortality. There is another condition, another therapeutic measure, we call it CRT, cardiac resynchronization therapy. It may be with... Uh, ICD, it may be without ICD. Now that particular disease, uh, therapeutic measure is also applied when we are treating the atrial fibrillation and the uh, heart failure combination. So what will be your message to your colleagues or physicians who are managing these patients outside the tertiary care center? So many physicians, entire two, entire three cities do also manage such patients. So what will be your two tips to these physicians, how to manage these patients? 
my first message will be you are to identify both the diseases whether isolatedly or combiningly and the uh, prognosis in this combination is very bad now having said that that the prognosis is bad the next step will be how you will be tackling the situation that you will have to be kept in mind now for management of the duo you will have to take care of all the measures that we take with the atrial fibrillation isolatedly along with heart failure say for example uh, i mentioned about the three particular um, uh, drugs one is the diuretic second is the lamoxin and third is the oral anticoagulant if they are given in to a particular patient definitely the in hospitalization rate will be much more reduced and the morbidity will be much more reduced though the lamoxin does not cause the reduction in the overall mortality but definitely they will give better quality of life thank you sir thanks a lot for sharing your opinion atrial fibrillation will produce the heart failure heart failure in turn will produce the atrial fibrillation and this vicious cycle